it's been a few years since the democratizing or the rise of democracy has happened. And things have been going steady for them. But new plans are being finalized. And these plans are going to change the influence in America. But those plans will be discussed later. First off, the Holy Russian Empire is going to do something that is probably going to stun everyone. By declaring war on the Empire of Japan. Why? Well, to find Alexei. Well, he's dead already. But he feels like he's still alive somewhere in Russia. But he doesn't know. Or they don't know. But as it goes on, the declaration of war had happened. And a new participant also joins. Someone who wants their land back. And that would be Uncle Sam. Or the U.S. And the U.S. wants to take California and Alaska. Well, basically the east no the western coast of the u what well, well the us basically but the first nation to declare war was the holy russian empire and then 2 days later america would join the war and may the two nations try to liberate their lands Japanese have surrendered and a negotiation talk would be implemented but people were stunned that a superpower would lose this kind of war and here was the talking of the treaty and how the treaty went is Japan had to give up the far east. They will keep Vladivostok if I'm saying that right. And they will have to give up the North American colonies and the South American to the United States of America. And basically that was it. Now America will simply occupy this land until a new government would be chose to rule these lands called Peru and Chile but another nation called Argentina they were fascist but had good relations with the 
nations of America. And they would give up fascism and turn into a democracy. And they also joined the DOFN, or known as the Defense of Free Nations. And two new nations joined also. Bolivia and Colombia, who were democracies for a pretty long time. Germany and Japan didn't do anything about this, so they let them live because democracy was, you know, far away from beating them. But they could finally join the alliance. Now the last four threats are German Venezuela and German Central America and basically German Canada and well you well I guess far German America you could say and that would be it they would be kicked out and that plan was brought into question. Can it work? And they, s- and they would see. But their plan would be called Operation De-Germanizing or De-Germanize. This plan basically means they will decolonialize America from the Germans. And so the operation ensued and the declaration of war on these three were called out. The war was now over, and the Allies, or the Free Nations, have completely destroyed the last German nation, German colonies in South America. Central America will be put in a friendly government, as well as the... Nations of Venezuela and the New Guineas. Meanwhile, Cuba, uh, Haiti, I think, and Puerto Rico and the Bahamas and Jamaica will be simply occupied by the U.S. But the new governments were established. Guyana, Suriname, I think, and Venezuela and the Central America. American Federation was established and they joined the alliance or the DOFN after the reunification with the Far East the German, uh, no, not the Germans, uh, the Holy Russian Empire was ready to do the second plan 
And that was Invading Germany's Puppets. And this is where Germany will really start to to mobilize. And the Germans want to make every alliance know that they'll be the dominant power forever. But their reign will last only for a few more years. But the Holy Russian Empire will start to also mobilize and send their troops to the borders of, well, puppet Russia. But that is going to be a story for another day.